Hey, you doing, Boss Belly? So yesterday I had a full wearing of the Masterpiece by Francis Kurgen, uh, which is Baccarat Rouge 540, and I wore the Eau de Parfum. Now last week I wore the X Straight, so today I wanted to go through the differences between them. So I'll be back in a second with my full review. So welcome back to Boss Buddies. Now, yesterday I had a full wearing of the Eau de Parfum version of Baccarat 540, uh, sorry, Baccarat Rouge 540, and last week I wore the x straight as well. So I wanted to do a quick comparison. First of all, I'm gonna do a, a little review because I already did one of the x straights so a little review of the Eau de Parfum. Um, I mean, this really is a beautiful fragrance. I mean, it's, it is an absolute masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. If you like the sweeter fragrances, this is definitely one to check out. I mean, both of these are, and I'll go over sort of the reasons in a second. One thing, I, I mean, the longevity and the projection of this one are fantastic as well. I did find this one a tiny bit stronger than the x straight So, I mean, if it's strength that you're looking for, I mean, definitely, I'd say lean more towards the Eau de Parfum version. The differences that I do notice, though, is although this one might be a little bit stronger and last a little bit longer, the x straight version, I found it's much, much smoother. Now, what I mean by that, there's something in the Eau de Parfum that, I, that just doesn't sit well with me. It's kind of like a, for want of a better word, it's kind of like a bleachy note in, that sits in there that I, I just don't get on with. I don't know whether it's a floral note or something like that, but it just sits there. And although I really enjoyed the fragrance before I experienced the, the x straight there's something in it when I smell it now that just drives me more towards the X-Ray. I think the X-Ray is absolute perfection. This one is very, very close, but like I say, there is a note in this one that just doesn't sit well with me, and I find it just a tiny bit bleachy. My wife um, as well, she actually, she smelled that, um, that note in there as well. So there's some, I mean, there's definitely something in there that, I mean, not just me, but that others will pick up on that is, is a tiny bit bleachy and just doesn't sit quite right. Now with the x straight I think is, it is absolute perfection. I mean, anything that's sort of wrong with this one, with the exception of the longevity and the projection, which is still fantastic with the x straight um, I mean, this is definitely the one I think is worth spending the extra money on. It's smoother, although it may not be quite as strong, um, but it is smoother and it's a much better made fragrance in my opinion. It's, like I say, just for the smoothness and just the pure perfection of this one, this one is definitely a, a much nicer fragrance when, when I'm smelling the difference between the two of them. Um, and I didn't really sort of realize that when I'd worn this one in the past, but having experienced the X-Ray, I realized how much better this one is. I definitely think it's worth spending the extra money on um, I mean, but compare the two of them, if it, like I said, if it's the strength and um, the projection you're looking for, definitely check out the Eau de Parfum and see if you notice that note at all. Um, a lot of people won't notice that note. For me, I, I got a feeling it's probably a, a bit of rose or a floral. I have not looked at the notes, but normally it's a rose or something like that that sits out to me that just makes things smell a little bit sour. Whatever it is, it's not in the x straight version or it's been toned down or something like that. But yeah, the x straight is just so much smoother and definitely worth the extra money. In, that's in my opinion. But I mean, try, try both. A lot of people, um, from what I've seen on sort of Instagram and stuff like that, a lot of people still prefer the Eau de Parfum and don't see the point in spending the extra on the x straight. Um, Personally, for me, I do. I definitely buy the extra over over the Eau de Parfum. Um, I'm very lucky enough to be working for a company that actually sells these. This is the only Maison um, Francis Kershaw fragrances that we sell because we have a back rack stockist. Um, so we will be receiving the extra very, very soon. So I'm hoping to add that one to my collection in the near future. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the review there. Um, for me, like I say, between the two of them, it's definitely gonna be the extra. But I mean, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts um, below in the in the comments there. Um, let me know which one you prefer. Whether you would spend the extra money on, um, also whether you tried the pair of them side by side as well. I'd say definitely if you haven't, definitely give them both a wearing, um, sort of one day after the other, just to see if you notice the difference. Even that, or uh, just spray them on on both your wrists. So. I mean, yes, yeah, so uh, other than that, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Luxury Fragrance Boss. That way you can keep up to date with everything that I'm wearing as my scent of the day, which normally comes up for review a couple of days later, one or two days later. 
Um, other than that, I hope you're all smelling fantastic and I look forward to seeing you very soon in my next video. New videos every day, sometimes more. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you very soon.